Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm talking about the Marvel San Diego Comic Con movie panel at Hall H just ended. Um, of course, I was not there, but I did read the live blog, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on all the announcements and everything that happened. Uh, so, we get to see some Avengers stuff, we get to see some Ant Man stuff. Now, were there films announced for the next phase? And that's the big question, the big rumors. Uh, so let's talk about Ant-Man first. We get to see some Ant-Man footage, which obviously we didn't get to see it, but the people at the panel did, uh, and we got some pretty good description about it. And, uh, two cast members were announced for Ant-Man, one being M... M... Vendeline Lily, who's on Lost, who played Kate, um, and she's gonna be playing... Let me get her name right. Um, Hope Van Dyne, who's gonna be the daughter of Hank Pym and Wasp, which is Janet Van Dyne. Um, so what do I think about that casting? I like the casting. I'm actually just happy that we have an opportunity of getting Wasp. You might have heard from me in the past when they, uh, were making him, Hank Pym older. I was like, how about Wasp? That was what I was looking forward to, to have a female origin story go on the same time as that male origin story, especially since, you know, Marvel's been so male-driven, uh, you know, with their movies, uh, and a lot of superhero movies have been. So having Wasp have an origin story at the same time would be cool. So is Hope Van Dyne going to already have her powers because Wasp already exists? Is Janet Van Dyne going to be in this movie? I think that's a confusing thing. Um, what's going to happen with the universe? I know some people are disappointed with Ant-Man, just hearing of the director dropping off and uh, some actors dropping off. Uh, but as a Marvel fan, I'm actually really excited to see what they do differently in this movie and how they keep to the comics. And um, if Hope Van Dyne is going to discover to be the Wasp in this universe, um, I really want to know the past of, I would say, Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne. So I'm um, kind of looking forward to that. I don't know much about um, M Evangeline Lilly. I have never really seen Lost. I will have to watch Lost on Netflix one of these days. But I, I'm, I'm interested to see that Hank Pym has a daughter. Uh, the next casting was Corey St uh, Stoll, who's going to be playing Yellow Jacket, um, and I'm cool with that. Yellow Jacket's definitely one of the more known um, Ant-Man villains, so I'm, I haven't seen the actor much, but uh, I'm cool with it. Uh, you know, nothing too shocking. I think the most shocking one was more of the daughter of Hank Pym, uh, especially since um, Lily has been rumored for a little while be in this movie and now she can actually say stuff. Again, we don't know exactly what her role is going to be in this movie, but hopefully it will be the Wasp. Hopefully. Um, but I think Janet Van Dyne fans might be a little upset if they do do that. But hopefully, we'll see. Um, then the next portion of the, of the panel is Avengers. We get to see all the actors in one panel. They do some stuff for the fans. Um, a little, little footage here and there. It seemed like it was some cool footage uh, for the fans that are there. Um, and only one real announcement, which was Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is going to happen. And that release date is going to be in 2017, July 28th. Um, 2017. Uh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the announcement. I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet. I'm very excited to see it. I'll be seeing it next weekend and I will have a review for it. Um, but I think we all expected it to get a sequel. I don't know. I, I, I know I expected it to get a sequel. I feel like that was one of the things like, oh, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy is going to get a sequel, just like every other superhero movie from Marvel has. So I wasn't really surprised by the sequel, but there was no true announcements at Marvel, which really upset me. Um, I think we all wanted a Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Captain Marvel. We all had these rumors going on, and nothing was announced. I think it was actually a little bit of a letdown. Uh, you know, I would say, I didn't really talk about the DC panel, but yeah, DC's panel was a little bit of a letdown also, because they announced, like, The Rock, all these rumors. I think what really makes it a letdown is all these rumors were spreading throughout the whole entire weekend, saying, Marvel's gonna announce this, DC's gonna announce this, and none of it happened! Marvel did not uh, announce their next phase. Yeah, they had the release dates up to, whatever, 2020, but they're not announcing what these films are gonna be. Uh, so that kind of upset me, because I was like, oh my god, we are, we're gonna at least get one or two. One or two. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, or, you know, instead of Guardians of the Galaxy, give me, um, yeah, Captain Marvel or something. Give me something that we don't know about. So, honestly, I was a little disappointed with the panel, but uh, I, I do like the, the announcements that did come out of it. Um, I think the, the best one was definitely Hope Van Dyne. Um, that's something I didn't really expect. All the other ones are kind of like, 
expected it. So, um, overall, a little disappointed, but uh, hopefully we'll get some news about Marvel movies soon. Do we have to wait until next year? I don't know. Uh, you know, after Avengers Age of Ultron, we gotta get those new movies rolling. So, what are those, that next phase gonna be after Ant-Man, uh, and Guards of the Galaxy now? I really wanna see some fresh faces. So, uh... I don't know. We'll see. Tell me in the comments below what you thought. This is Comic You Know. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the right situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.